the construction business. Oh wow! So you're a craft worker. Oh no no, I am. Well, you all must have been poor. Excuse me. Both my husband Keith, my whole family, and I were just absolutely mortified and speechless at what my mother-in-law Amelia just said. Since that moment on, the lively dinner party which everyone was enjoying got spoiled. My name is Melissa, and I am 28 years old, and I work at an office. My husband Keith and I have been dating for a year now, and we are planning to get married. And today is the day we are going to greet my husband's parents. I have been nervous all morning because I was meeting Keith's parents for the first time. Ugh! I wonder if I will be able to greet them properly. Oh, don't worry too much. It'll be okay. My parents are not the kind of people you should even be that nervous about. But I'm not too sure if Keith loved his parents a lot. But because of that, he hardly talked much about his own parents, which is why I am extra nervous because I literally know nothing about Keith's parents. And I also remember Keith saying this to me: "My mom might say something sarcastic and a little off sometimes, but just shrug it off, okay? I'll always be there, so don't worry." And remembering what he has said about his mother. My heart beat faster and faster as we approached to Keith's parents' house. And finally, Keith and I arrived at his parents' house. Once we rang their doorbell, both my father-in-law Jonathan and mother-in-law Amelia came out to the porch to greet both of us. Oh, welcome! Thank you both for coming. It's very nice to see you two. Come on then. Do come in. Oh. They're actually really sweet and kind to us. Both Amelia and Jonathan greeted us with smiles, which eased my tension a little. And we were led to the living room. So once we got there, we all sat down. Here you go. We brought some sweets. Oh wow! Thank you so much. I'll go make some coffee so that we can eat these together. Oh, please let me help you. Oh, it's okay, Melissa. You're our guest, so please sit down. Oh, th thank you very much. It must have been a long trip for both of you to come all the way from Texas. Oh, well, it was a nice long road trip, and we took turns driving. You know, the two of us. Oh my goodness, you drove all the way with the car? Well, you young people are so energetic. We drove all the way so that we could do some sightseeing on the way back. Ah, I see. Like that, I can have a normal, natural conversation with Jonathan and Amelia, and there's no awkward tension to it. Nothing like what Keith had said about Amelia had happened as of now, so I felt like I got really nervous and prepared for nothing. Then I heard the front door unlock. I'm home. Oh, Keith. Welcome back home. Oh, long time no see, Seb. Come to think of it, my brother-in-law Sebastian and his wife Clara were living together with Jonathan and Amelia. I greeted Sebastian as he came in, and to Clara, who was right behind him. Oh, hello! Nice to meet you. Hello, hello! It's very nice to meet you. I never thought that my little brother would marry such a nice, wonderful person like you. My first impression of Sebastian I had was that he was very cheerful, and that he was a nice, kind person. But compared to Sebastian, Clara, on the other hand, was quiet and polite, and she greeted me very quickly. And then the next moment, Amelia gave a cold glare to Clara and said in a very low voice. Oh, Clara, can you make us another coffee? Oh, okay. I will go make it now. My goodness, having an inconsiderate wife like her is such a hassle. Amelia smiled at us as she said that. Oh, now I see. 
maybe this is what my husband was talking about. Amelia would blatantly change her attitude depending on that person. And Amelia would have a terrible attitude toward those who are in a much weaker position than she is. And right now, Clara is her target, but I am not surprised that she might turn the tables on me at any moment. My husband also has a very awkward look on his face when he sees Amelia's horrible attitude toward Clara. After finishing the coffee and sweets, my husband said, All right, let's get going, and try to leave. Then, Amelia would say, Oh my, are you leaving already? Why don't you just have dinner with us? Come on, Clara, get the dinner ready. And to this, my husband refused, saying, That's okay, we have a restaurant we want to stop by on our way back to the hotel. In the car on the way back to our hotel, my husband looked really uncomfortable. I know, it was really off-putting, wasn't it? Oh, uh, you mean about your mother's attitude toward Clara? Yeah. Mom has always been the type of person who is always unsatisfied unless she gets to one-up a person. And at the moment, she's targeting Clara when Clara hasn't done anything wrong at all. But I'll make sure that you, Melissa, won't become my mom's target in the future. Since Keith says so, I was relieved for the time being. After that, we took our time and went to my parents' house and finished the greetings before we got married. My parents liked my husband a lot, and they immediately got very close to each other. Keith also seemed to like my parents right away. And then, we started to make preparations for our wedding bit by bit. Then, we held a huge dinner party so that both our families could meet each other. But this was where it all went wrong. The dinner was held in a private room at a nice restaurant in California. Both of our parents greeted each other and took their seats. At first, everyone was distracted by the delicious food that was brought to the table, but as the conversation proceeded, gradually, Amelia became rude. Um, I didn't get a chance to ask you properly before, but does Melissa's family live in Texas? Or live in California? Keith's parents live in California, and both Jonathan and Amelia are born and brought up in California. Keith moved to Texas for college, and then right after graduating college, since he got a job, he continued to live and work there. I also moved to Texas for college and began to work at a company after graduating college, and that is where I met my husband. No, we're from Montana. Yes, like what my dad answered now, my whole family was from Montana, and both my parents were born and brought up in Montana. Oh, Montana? Yes. Is there something wrong with that? Then, Amelia sighed a little and said, No, I was just surprised. Something was wrong with Amelia's attitude. She was not being really friendly to my parents compared to how she was when Keith and I went to greet her. Then, Amelia says this, Well, my image of Montana is just having very cold weathers during winter, and I don't get the impression that there are actually any people living there. Hearing this, both my parents and I were speechless. Are people properly keeping up with the modern civilization over there in Montana? Oh, I wonder if they have smartphones over there. Or perhaps people in Montana only use rotary dial phones? Perhaps it was the alcohol in her system but she wouldn't stop slandering such outrageous things. Hey, Mom, what are you talking about? It's not like you've even been to Montana, so you shouldn't say such things. But this is important, isn't it? It would be a big problem if the woman who comes to marry you doesn't have a proper education or something like that. Besides, I just don't like the cold and I never thought that it would be a place that I would go to, so that's why I don't go to Montana. Even though Dad was witnessing Amelia's terrible attitude, he replied back gently. Well, we certainly do use smartphones. 
Besides, we're all used to the cold during the winter since we've been living there for a long time now. Is that so? Anywho, what kind of work do you do, Henry? Dad was being so polite, but how could Amelia be rude like that? I am in the construction business. The construction business? Oh, wow. So, you're a craft worker. Oh, no, no, I am. Well, you all must have been very poor. Excuse me? Both my husband, Keith, my whole family, and I were just absolutely mortified and speechless at what my mother in law, Amelia, just said. Dad is working fairly well in the construction business, and Mom is a housewife, and they are both leading reasonably fulfilling lives together. But Amelia misunderstood that my parents were poor, and assuming that they were in a lower position than her, and started making such terrible things to them. Mom, what are you even talking about? That's enough. I'm terribly sorry about this, Harry and Sarah. Oh, no, it's okay. It's not something you should be apologizing for, Keith. Yes, that's right, Keith. Why are you the one apologizing? Uh, well, it's all your fault, Amelia, so you should be the one to apologize, was what I had in my mind. There, there, now. Well, now that we've greeted each other today, let's just call it a day. Jonathan, who couldn't say anything harsh and be strict to Amelia, ended the dinner party. The lively dinner party, which everyone was enjoying, got spoiled because of Amelia. After my husband sent Amelia and Jonathan home first, he came to us and apologized again and again. No, it's not all your fault, Keith. But I don't know if I can let my daughter marry into a place with a mother in law like that. Well, about that, may I suggest something? What my husband said after that surprised both my parents, and even I was surprised to know what Keith was thinking about. After that, my husband contacted Jonathan and questioned him about Amelia's attitude. Then, we found out something very surprising Sebastian and Clara had divorced, and Clara had left Amelia in Jonathan's house. And now it all made sense to me. So, in other words, now that Amelia no longer had a target to bully, she was probably thinking of targeting me this time. But to pick on me even before Keith and I got married was too naive of Amelia. I wonder if she didn't think about the fact that I could avoid that situation. And a few months later, Keith and I finally held our wedding. Then, that morning, my husband received a phone call from Amelia. My husband answered the phone as he had felt that it's such a hassle to talk to Amelia. Hello? Hey, I didn't hear that you and Melissa w a s having your wedding ceremony today. I felt really embarrassed just a few minutes ago when my neighbor asked me why I was here and not at your wedding, you know? Oh, yeah, because I didn't invite you or dad, so it's obvious that would happen, right? Excuse me? What is the meaning of this? I'm just so sick and tired of you. I'm going to be taken into Melissa's family, and I'm cutting family ties with you for good. Wh what are you talking about? I, I am not allowing you to do that. Where are you right now? We'll be at your wedding, so just tell us where you are. No, it's impossible. Because our wedding is held in Montana. And it's where you don't even want to go to, right? What? Anyways, we're not family anymore now, so don't contact us anymore. My husband said that and hung up the phone. Yes, this was the shocking idea which my husband suggested to me and my parents after the dinner party. Both my dad and mom were so moved by my husband's genuine enthusiasm that he really wanted to marry me that badly. And knowing that, they burst into tears. And entrusted me to my husband, telling him to take care of their precious daughter. When my husband ended the call, I now received a call from Amelia. Since I had a few things to say, I decided to answer the phone. As soon as I picked up the phone, Amelia started to yell at me over the phone. What are you doing brainwashing my son like that? 
Give me back my son. With all due respect, Amelia, you should realize that it is your fault and that this all happened because of you. Excuse me? Why should my precious son be taken into your poor family in the first place? You really don't listen, do you, Amelia? You only assumed and accused my dad of being poor before he even finished talking. Wh what? My father is in the construction business, not as a craftsman, but as a business owner. What? I don't really like to talk about my family as if I'm bragging about them, but actually, my family owns a well known company in Montana. Thanks to my family's effort, our annual sales have been steadily increasing, and this year we surpassed $5 million. What? Why didn't you tell me that earlier? If I knew this, then I would have taken you in properly as Keith's wife. Don't you even understand and realize that your own son was appalled by that kind of attitude you have where it changes depending on someone's status? Anyway, the wedding is about to begin, so that's all I have to say. Oh, wait! We then had a happy wedding in our family home. By the way, Sebastian, whom I invited to the ceremony, was so impressed with Montana, where he came for the first time, and seeing Keith so determined being cut off with his parents, Sebastian also decided to change his mindset. Sebastian went back to Clara, got down on his knees, and apologized, saying, I'm sorry, I didn't notice how you were suffering with my parents until now, and proposed to her that he would cut off his ties with his parents and move to Montana with her. Clara agreed to this, and now they both came to Montana, and we now live close to each other. Keith also feels reassured and a little more comfortable that his own big brother lives in the same area. And as for Amelia and Jonathan, Amelia blamed Jonathan for her own two sons cutting ties off from them, saying that it was his fault, and to that, Jonathan, who ran out of patience, snapped and decided to divorce her. In the end, Amelia lost her entire family and is now forced to live a life in poverty with a low-paying job and a pension all alone, apparently. Well, she deserved it, so I have no sympathy for her whatsoever. Keith, on the other hand, has joined my dad's company and will eventually take over as a CEO. He is desperately trying to learn his job, but he is very excited about being able to challenge and learn new things every day. I am so proud of Keith. We will continue to get along well as a married couple, support each other, and enjoy our lives together. Thank you for watching until the end. Please subscribe to our channel. We hope to see you in our next video.